This is my review of the Eonon head unit that I installed in my 2010 Mazda 3. Eonon is a brand that makes factory replacement Android head units. Their units have a factory appearance and are designed to be a direct fit for specific cars. There's no need to buy install kits, shrouds, or wiring harnesses because they fit into factory mounts and plug directly into your car's wiring. They make head units for BMW, Mazda, Chevrolet, GMC, Volkswagen, Honda, Toyota. They also sell universal versions for custom installs. My unit is a 2020 model and comes with Android 9. It has an 8-inch touchscreen as well as volume and tuning knobs. I personally like tactile controls like this so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. The two main things I wanted this head unit for are its factory appearance and playing music from USB. Mine has a total of four USB connections. One on the front that's hidden underneath a false button, one on the rear, and a harness that clicks into a connector on the rear with two more USBs on a long cable. I use that long cable connection to install a dual USB port on my center console. I use a pair of low profile SanDisk 64 gigabyte drives in the USB ports. This helps with sorting music as one drive has rock music and another has hip hop. The head unit plays almost any format. I prefer FLAC files. The default music player styling seems generic and outdated, but it works fine. I haven't tried any other music apps from the Play Store yet. Audio adjustments are done with a graphic equalizer. No bass, mid, or treble controls here. That's fine, but it does take time to properly set an EQ. Video files play just fine. For demonstration purposes, I dropped a Futurama episode onto one of the USB drives. If you have a Wi-Fi connection, any kind of streaming is possible. My unit came with the Netflix app already installed. You can also stream from the Chrome browser, but overall video streaming isn't as smooth as video playback from the native storage. My car has aftermarket amplifiers for the door speakers and subwoofer, so I use the preamp outputs on the back of this unit. After replacing the factory unit with this one, the volume levels seemed much lower. I did have to readjust the gain on my amplifiers. I asked the company what the preamp voltage is, and they said the outputs are 1.5 volts. Overall, the sound quality with my system is good, and I haven't had any issues with the head unit. I highly recommend these if you have an older car or if you're just not satisfied with your stock infotainment system. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, leave one below.